Hi, I'm Vanessa Ford, co-founder of Mental Labs, and joining me today is our research co-founder, Dr. John Canelis. Welcome, John. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. We want to start off by talking about what women do when they face menopause symptoms, right? They go out, they look for herbs, and they look for hormone replacement therapy and different drugs to help combat all of these symptoms that they're going through. But nobody's really talking about the microbiome and why that's impactful in menopause. So can you just walk us through what the microbiome is and why that matters in menopause? Of course. Well, the microbiome really refers to the collective organisms that are really living sort of in harmony, you can say, with you and your body. So specifically, we're, we like to discuss more the gut microbiome, which plays a significant role in our health. So the gut microbiome really is that collective group of organisms that is in your gut and along the GI tract, all the way from your mouth, all the way obviously out. In fact, that is populated throughout the entire system. And so that system obviously is operating in harmony with you you're in your body. And so when you're in menopause, are there changes to your microbiome? So I think before we talk about that, it might be important to discuss what is menopause? What in fact, you know, is the, the condition that we do describe as menopause? And so really women start out with a given number of follicles. And so in within their ovaries, there's a set number of follicles. As a woman matures, goes through puberty, they start to actually develop these follicles. So these follicles, as they mature, release estrogen. Estrogen is part of, of course, the hormonal cycle that all women experience, and it you know, happens you know, with the maturation of these follicles. So as a woman matures, as a woman gets older, they in fact deplete the number of follicles that's present in the ovaries. So because there's a finite number of follicles, as these follicles mature, they become depleted and ultimately they lose the estrogen producing ability because there's no more follicles to produce estrogen. So during that transition, there's important things that do take place. Um, the hormonal environment that's created through those transition actually is very key to establishing essentially a component of your, your health that is critical to just everyday living. As that's being disrupted, many things get disrupted, of course. One of the key things that happens during that transition is that the gut does get disrupted. So the microorganisms in the gut, which are living symbiotically with you and your body, as that environment changes, of course, that's going to change the gut environment as well. So the microbiome changes, and how does that impact hormone levels and metabolism? So one thing that's becoming more and more clear is that the gut microbiome plays many different roles in the body. I actually consider it one of the key pillars of health, of overall health. In fact, I think it's probably about a third of our health. Um, the reason I think that is that it plays a huge role in interacting with our environment. What we eat, what we do, does actually significantly affect our health because it does interact with one of the main players in our health, and that is the gut. So during that transition in menopause, there is, of course, an effect on the gut. Well, the gut not only does it play a role in general in health, it does play a huge role in hormonal regulation. So the gut has a remarkable capacity to metabolize different components of the hormonal cycle that women experience, obviously, prior to menopause. And that role that it does play during the normal sort of transition, you know, that occurs with the hormonal environment in women, um, it is acting in a way which can contribute or actually take away from that hormonal environment. So within the gut, the estrobilome, as we say, are the group of organisms that are capable of metabolizing estrogen and estrogen components. And that's important in regulating when there's excess of estrogen, or if there has to be in, indeed a, an increase in estrogen, it can do that as well. So that does play sort of in this harmony, you know, harmony role with your overall hormonal cycling. For more support from the Mental Labs community, download the Mental Life app, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, or visit our website. All the links are in the description below.